guys, I'm going to be doing a product review on two separate products today. One is going to be a makeup item and the other is going to be a hair styling um, appliance. We'll go ahead and get started with the makeup item first. And that is going to be, in the, be the NYX 10 color eyeshadow palette from the Runway Collection. And it is in champagne and caviar. As you can already tell, this palette is very sleek, so you can always throw it in your bag, um, like your makeup bag or your purse if you're on the go. Inside, you get a nice mirror at the top, and those are all the colors that you get in there. One thing I do love about this palette is it is everyday neutral colors that complement just about any skin tone. They are very long wearing, especially if you have a base under them, and the colors are smooth and not chalky. And last but not least, there is absolutely no glitter, which another thing that I absolutely love about this palette, because I don't really care for glitter in my eyeshadows. Um, the only thing that I would say that some people may have a problem with, I don't really have a problem with it, but it would be the um, fact that it does leave fingerprints, packaging does leave fingerprints on here. You know, I guess it's to each his own. So I would rate this product about a four and a half out of five just because of that. Um, but other than that, it's nothing short of amazing. So we'll go ahead and get started on the um, hair styling appliance. And I'm going to be reviewing the end styler. Looks like that. And one thing that I do really like about this is the swivel cord right here. It makes it easy to do your hair um, so you're not all tangled up by the end um, of styling it. Another thing that I do like is the fact that it does give you amazing volume because of the rotating barrel. The one thing that um, you know may stop people from buying this is the fact that it's roughly around $100. It retails for about $99.99. I did receive this as a Christmas present, so I did not pay that much for it. But um, if it were me going out to seek something like this, I would pay no more than about $25 to $30. So I would probably rate this about a three out of five just because of the price but other, than, but other than that it's a pretty good product so if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments down below rate this video a thumbs up and thanks again for watching bye bye guys